What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing some more Pioneer. Pioneer is fun. I like it because it's not as broken as modern. And I feel like because it's not as broken as modern, it gives you a lot of play. It gives you a lot of a lot of room to do your own kind of thing. Um, this is a Super Friends Fires of Invention deck list that I found on a league. I'm going to look up and see. who. I'm going to give credit to whoever created this monstrosity. So, Or, or at least who played it. Nope, that's standard. We're looking for Pioneer, my dudes. Fire Super Friends. This was played by Zymac to two separate 5 0 finishes in league, so it's got to have something going for it, right? Zymac. Zar Zernak. Zernak. Z Y R N A K on Magic Online. That's who that's who it is. And um yeah, this deck looks sweet. Three Fave Wishes and two Heart of Kieran. I don't think you're playing this. As a, as a two drop very frequently. Two Narset, three Time Ravelers, three Deafening Clarion, and two Okos. Also three Supreme Verdict, so you can go Fires and Supreme Verdict on turn four, which is pretty sweet. We have a lot of ways to deal with creatures, so we're not too concerned with creatures, I don't think. Two Drawn from Dreams, which is excellent. Basically a dig through time that you can easily cast off of Fires. Two Jace Architect of Thought. Uh, two Nicobolas, one of my favorite Planeswalkers ever. Two Teferi Dominaria, one of the best Planeswalkers ever. I'm not, not a huge fan of the card, but I think it's fantastic. If that makes sense. I like the card a lot, but I dislike it a lot. Two Oath of Teferi, which is super sweet because it lets us blink. Uh, you know what? I never understood the blink ability on this. Oath of Teferi is a card that's meant to go with Planeswalkers. You may activate the loyalty. Abilities of Planeswalkers you control twice each rather than only once. But its ability exiles another permanent you control and you return to the battlefield at the beginning of your next end step. If this blinked a Planeswalker so that you could use their ability two more times or whatever, I'd understand that. But I really don't understand how these two abilities go together. I guess if you have like a card like Narset, you can use it, use it again, blink it with Teferi and it comes back. But that's still not, that seems kind of, it just seems weird, right? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Anyway, and they have one Elspeth, one Nicobolus. Your sideboard is a pretty big mishmash of cards, mostly because you have Fey of Wishes, right? Two Pithing Needle, two Graft Digger's Cage, the fourth Deafening Clarion, and Supreme Verdict. One Possibility Storm? Uh, we're going to have to look into that later. Um, it lets you Nega Walker and get a bag of high loads. Yeah, sure. That's what it does. It just doesn't seem impressive, and it seems kind of weird. Uh, Nezahal, but because it also, like... Whatever, I don't care. One as a hall, one Jace Cunning Castaway, one Hour of Revelation, which seems real bad, because uh, you're going to wipe away all your Planeswalkers and your Fires of Invention if you ever have to get this. Deploy the Gatewatch is also a card um, that I really, really like a lot. And I wanted to build around it. So if you guys would be interested in seeing me build around Deploy the Gatewatch in Pioneer, uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. I'd like to see it. One Gideon's Intervention, which is basically like a Nevermore plus a Rune Halo. Uh, one Rest in Peace and two Authority of the Consoles. Let's jam with this bad boy. Fire Super Friends, that's where you want to be. Pioneer, Dos, Player, Kios. The Dos, Player, Kios. The card says you cannot cast more than two spells per turn. I, well, I understand. Jasper, how far back are we looking? Oh my god, you guys were chatting up like crazy in here. I would have slapped those fucking meatballs in my mouth and removed the marinade. Wow, that's aggressive. Slap is a loaded term in here after last night. Uh, I mean, I don't care for Florida much, but maybe I'll stop by one day. You may be worth a visit if you don't trust me at your home. I can also run a hotel. We can meet there. That seems safer and appropriate, right? No, none of that. Uh, can you just dunk the meatballs in the toilet for me real quick? Give them a flush, then toast some pepper jack on them, boys, and you're golden. Do you think the new Elspeth will be good in Pioneer? I don't think... I don't... If we're talking about the spoiled one, if that card's real, I don't know if it's going to be good, period, let alone in Pioneer. I'm going to get a full-long ultimate cheese bread meatball with extra mayo for lunch. Who wants a pick? Uh... Possibility Storm for Teferi. Which Teferi? The, oh, because they can't cast... Because they can't ever cast any cards. Oh, that's... That's juicy. Uh, 
I feel like the hand with Supreme Verdict and Deafening Clarion is pretty good against the opening of Thraben and Spectre. What do you guys think? This planes is legit. This is one of my favorite planes. I like that Nick is like, it's planes 333. That's my Morse code. I don't know why I did that after planes 333, but here we are. Doesn't matter what comes, fresh goes better in life to furry time raveler. Let's get this piece of junk out of here. Ooh. Spicy. With Mentos fresh and full. Nothing gets to you, staying fresh, staying cool. Can they attack me for eight? They can just kill me next turn, right? We're just dead. Like, even if we go, like, Fire's Supreme Verdict, they just go, turn this into a 4-4, remove a loyalty counter, attack for eight, activate mutable. Like, we're just dead. I kind of like these two pitting needles, to be quite honest. What did we see? What's this? What's this? I can't believe my eyes. This deck blows. There's your fire. Why are you? Why are you being like this? You're being really negative. Robert, come on now. Come on, Bert. Jesus. I want to keep this hand because I think we can draw lots of things. I was also tempted to play, we have a, there's a modern uh, Pioneer, there's a Pioneer event done at my local card store, and I was tempted to go play in that. But I have to put a deck together. I'd probably just play Hardened Scales, right? The Bant Worms deck? I haven't even played... What what Bant Worms deck? I'm 
nothing gets to you. Staying fresh, staying cool. Give me something good right now. I'm going to put this on the bottom. We don't need another drawn, drawn from dreams. Drawn from dreams. It's really hard for me to play the deck that we were going to build if we never built it. We built this city on rock and what what do you oh you get you get nothing what do you even name here nothing Do they think this is Teferi? Interesting. I feel like we're in okay shape here. Wow. Jesus. Four lands of fires and a fey. Let's take fires and fey, I guess. Not. Not. Not great, Bob. I guess we can go fires into Fey. That seems good. That Gideon's a real problem. We can also just go Fey into. That's not bad. Uh, exiling something we control, not great, Bob. So we could go Fey into Hour, but then Selfless Spirit just makes their knights indestructible. I mean, if we go Fires right now, like next turn they can actually do a ton of damage, right? Like they make their knight indestructible. So next turn they're going to have 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11 damage. We go to 5? We go to 11? We go to... You go to five. Oh boy. I mean, it does let us play both of these. We have to get rid of our... I guess it is... I think it is fires into... Into Supreme Verdict here. Because next turn, it lets us... It lets us fave wishes. This is off the board. And then we get to blow everything up. We do get to blow our own fires up, but... I think that's okay. I think that's okay. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But then we get to blow everything up, which is nice. But then they take we take four more from the next turn. Oh boy. I feel like this deck wants more ways to deal with just like planeswalkers instead of like regular creatures. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't think we have the luxury of waiting a turn, though, unfortunately. Wait, can we go... Next turn, we can go Fey of Wishes and Oath of Teferi as our free spell to remove fires. And then we can play... Yep, this is the 11 we were afraid of. So we go to 5. Uh, 
Uh, which one? Granted, right? Granted, cast with fires. Yeah, I'll use the ability that. Uh, uh, if there are ten or more non horns on the battlefield, yeah, there definitely will be. So that could, it's going to cost three. So we get rid of an oath of Tefer, but I think that's actually fine, especially because it's legendary. Uh, cast with fires. Get rid of the fires. Play a land. One, two. Wait, what? Oh, ten or more non land permanents. Okay. Never mind. Oh, they have three Muta Vaults now, so I don't know why yeah, they had they had they drew the third Muta Vault. Never mind. I thought that was great until I saw the third friggin' Muta Vault. Well, I guess that's I guess that's that. Um, I like this hand. Three Muta Vaults, huh? Berm time? <laughs> Bantworms, berms. Rob, if you want to drive on over here, buddy, and brew some bantworms with me, I'm okay with that. Set a goal for a 12 hour stream. How much are we talking? That's a pretty good looking swamp. I'm all right with it. I have practice tonight. What are you practicing? You practicing how to not be my friend anymore? Got him. Because I think you've mastered that. <laughs> Got him. Oh, softball. I'm glad you clarified because I thought you seriously... The other thing. Got him. Fucking got him. Remember when Heart of Kieran and Smuggler's Copter were in similar sets and you were just like, wow, Heart of Kieran seems broken. And then Smuggler's Copter was like, nah, bro, I'm, I'm the broken one. And you were like, oh, dang. Mm. So the problem here is that I want to attack with this, but I also want to play this and bounce their guy. So I think I'm just going to play this. We're 100% playing this. Whether we plus it and Heart of Kieran and attack for four, I just kind of want to set them back a turn. I think we can. I think setting them back a turn seems stronger than, um, than getting in for four. Let's plus this dude. Take another. Fires. Fires on the storm. Let's go granted. Next time we can nickel Brolis. That's beautiful. What are we getting here? Um. I like to deploy the gate watch a lot. That just seems like a blast. Whenever a player casts a spell from their hand, that player exiles it. The exiles cards from the time of the library until they exile the card that shares the time. The player may cast that card. We're just playing this next turn and locking them out of the game forever, right? Like, that seems broken AF. Do 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 I got the Mentos song stuck in my head. You guys like Mentos? Didn't we put Deploy Rob's mom in the sideboard? No, she was too big. She took up all 15 slots, and I felt like this wasn't a a good use of my, my sideboard, you know? She's main board, dude. 
Maybe. Maybe that's true. Oh, they're like, you know what? Uh, might as well crew, right? Might as well crew both so that they don't get their... Uh... Yeah, now their now they're swift end gets countered, so... It doesn't matter what comes, it feels better in life. What's the Jace cutting cast on the side before? Who the f who knows, man? Who knows? Let's cast this with Fires of Invention for free. What was I going to get? Deploy the Gate Watch? We can play that next turn? Yeah, that seems nice. So now we can go Temple. Scry. Yeah, you can stay on top. Cast with Fires. Oh, shoot. We can make Infinite Nikki Bees. Oh, that's insane, too. This deck is gasoline. G -g -g gasoline. We're just gonna plus. We're just gonna draw the uh, the Teferi. Fatal push. Fatal pushin. Panama. Might as well get in there for four, right? Right. So Nicol Bolas uh, gains the ability to negative five create two tokens that are copies of Nicol Bolas, right? So Nicol Bolas starts at four or five. Star loyalty is four. So you'd have to go up one, right? And then you can do it. Well, you don't make, you can't, that actually, that seems hard, right? Oh, so you have to have Oath of Teferi, Nicol Bolas, and Jace. Yeah, so then you can activate Nicol Bolas twice. Whenever a Swamp enters the battlefield, you draw a card and you lose a life, or it deals 2 damage to any target and gain 2 life. That guy's good. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. How blinded are they by the... Oh, I was like, are you are you so blinded by the Nicol Bolas kill that you just want to... You just want to get them? Okay. Okay, let's play Beacon. Interplanar Bacon. Do we just deploy the Gatewatcher? Feels like we do, right? Top 7. Only one Planeswalker, and it was a Nicol Bolas. Still pretty good. Uh, deal seven. Hmm. Exile cards on the top of the library until the exile non land card you may play it. Okay, we'll just win the game. He's like, don't worry about it. Don't go looking through your. Don't go looking through your things. I'll just. Why do I have Panama stuck in my head? Is there a reason? I don't know. P -p -p Panama. <laughs> Uh, keep. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I don't think that's that's not bad. When I was in Florida, I snuck into your room every night and sang it to you while you slept. Wow, that's amazing. I really appreciate that. Thank you for singing Van Halen to me. Little Nicholas, Nicholas B. Let's play hard of Kieran off these guys. My last name isn't B, it's actually E. I guess I could have said E instead of B, that would make more sense, but the B was for Monk Honky Banana and the banana being your last name, but that's not your last name. Are they gonna kill my... Wow, that's aggressive. Panama. Dan's, what's up? You're awesome, what's up? You're awesome, pack one, pick one, Ember Cleave. What would you pick for pack two? Fairy Vandal, Fairy Guide Mother, or Searing Barrage? Searing Barrage, 100%. None of, none of those other cards are worth going a different color for, and Searing Barrage is a pretty solid removal spell in the format, my dude. Let's add this and this and play this. Pew, 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 pew. It's always gained that life. Nobody, no one's going to, I don't have to yield to that. Come on, just stop it. Oh, boy. Well, hmm. I think it's actually Oko here. Oko, no Joko. Don't want to attack for four? No, I want to save it for defensive. Which of the Wonder Twins do you want? What does that even mean? That's a weird thing to say. Did uh, the thing with Twitch ever get fixed about the alternate accounts? And I think Elk is not getting IP banned. Uh, as far as I know, Elk did not get an IP banned. Which is nice, because, good lord, that guy's a, that guy's a rascal. What an old rapscallion. I'll I'll search again. Okay, I believe you. Jump in the line. Fires of invention on time. Okay, when this attacks, you may put the top three cards of your library in your graveyard. When it dies, put all land cards. Yeah, we're just gonna. I guess we're just going to play one of these. Create a food. This seems fine. Man, Oko and Heart, yeah, I'm like, I'll plus two. I mean, I'll plus one and attack for four. Seems good. Oh yeah, it's your boy. Oh, we're going to Verdict for sure here, my dudes. It is Verdict, my dudes. Huh. So you're going to get... Oh, boy. So if we block this dude, you get two lands. I think that's fine. Are they untapped? Tapped. Okay, we can... Yeah, we can do that. It is win block you oh but also because of narset they actually don't get to draw the card that's pretty sweet man narset is a joke well we're not going to be using the mana so we might as well put this into play tapped um oath of teferi oko oko yikes one two three four five what are we blinking? I guess we could bring Blink Narset actually seems pretty good.
Uh, I'm actually going to take pile two. <laughs> yeah, that just seems better. Like, being able to go get anything, like, is pretty good. This guy got reach. It doesn't matter. He's a baby now. Baby. We also have six life on board. Just casual six life sitting here in the food tokens. That seems good. And now we get a Narset. Okay. Well. Boy, this one Heart of Kieran is really doing some work. Well, shit. Awkward. I guess on the bright side, they can't draw a second card from Mortal Sun, right? Is that how it works? Yeah. What? Oh, it's a 4-4 now. Hmm. Oh, no, it's a 3-4. Passive ability, OP. I mean, I probably would have forgotten that, too. There's a lot to keep track of. What can we get with Fey of Wishes that can destroy an Immortal Sun? Other than, like, destroy everything. Let's find out. Thirty thirty. No, 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 no. We have no answer to that. I mean, we could play Hour of Revelation, but it seems pretty bad for us. Yep, that's pretty rough. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure we can still win with Heart of Kieran. But, you know. I guess I'll just get Gideon's Intervention. It might be worth just having the hour just to have it. Yeah, because we get no position where, like, we can hour and then cast, like, Planeswalker. Because we can still cast Supreme Verdict, Deafening Clarion. Lots of things. So no activate, no activate. Blocked by the Immortal Sun. I like the way it says that. That's pretty sweet. And then we're just going to pass here. So they have two turns to find an answer to the Immortal. To the, the good thing is Narset's uh, passive still works. So they go to... They go to... They stay at five. Is this a draw? I mean, you're a draw step draw additional card. That's sweet. So it, I guess it doesn't... Like, you're just not going to be able to draw the second card, which is great. I'm eating candy corn, my dudes. Mm, that guy's annoying. Multani in the graveyard. Ooh, that's that's fascinating. Well, they're going to keep shooting us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Getting rid of our... Interesting. Hmm, guess I'll get a mountain. Oh, and a wayward sword tooth. 
away where'd we go berm shit berm what are you saying right now do 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 gas with fires of invention put them all in the trash can gonna crew this guy and deal you two damage and by two I mean four main I mean I don't think we play anything this blinking something doesn't really do anything I guess we can play this and then just bounce it, right? Man, Nar said OP. So they're just dead to put out two little cards your library in your graveyard then you may return all land cards no uh then you may return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand sure i mean multani has reach so they can get the multani can they play it Case, what's going on, my dudes? <laughs> Are they going to five here? Because we have five. Okay. Safe so plan this Fey Wishes. It really worked out for us. Knight of the Ebon Legion. Okay. I don't think that does anything. <sighs> Teferi Time Raveler. Okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna kill them. Okay, that'll do. That'll do, pig. I'm tempted to get like one Supreme Verdict or like one Deafening Clarion for like just like an Oblivion Ring or something. Uh, Oblivion Ring is not legal in the Pioneer format, Frank. You'd have to use something like Banishing Light, don't you see? I also like one Banishing Light in the sideboard, too. Maybe over... Yeah, they could have played Multani. Um, a lot of people forget Multani has Flying. I don't think it would have done anything, though, because we could still... Uh, at the end of the turn, we could have bounced... Fey of Wishes, and then in our turn we could have went uh, granted Supreme Verdict, play Supreme Verdict and then attack for four, and they would have been at four because they wouldn't have gained one life from the Courser, so. O-Ring's not good with our right, but like we only have one hour and it's in the sideboard. So like it's not like I'm getting a bunch of hours. I mean, it's just as, like, a catch-all. It just needs to be, like, in case we have a way... We just need a way to deal with enchantments and, and artifacts and things. And planeswalkers. Uh, Detention Sphere does seem better. 
I agree with that. I think two Detention Sphere is actually pretty good. I would take one Deafening Clarion out. Probably like one Oath of Tefri, because the card's cute, but like... it's I feel like it's rarely super useful. Uh, Night of Autumn is flexible. We have no green mana in our deck, so we have no way to cast the Night of Autumn. You know what? I'll keep it. Oh, I guess we have, like, yeah, I mean, we could play it off of fires, of course, because that's our thing, but... bottom this for now i don't know depending on what we're playing against that could be great or it could be terrible there's an argument be to be made that we should have waited and i think we're going to witness the results of that argument right now see now that we've seen this i want to have some more aggressive cards and aggressive by by aggressive I mean defensive, aggressively defensive. I want to be more aggressive about finding defensive cards. Okay, well this white this white deck is really God. I wish we took see right not being able to keep that deafening clay around has been pretty bad for us. Yeah, this guy's gonna flip. We're gonna have no answer to it whatsoever. It's gonna be pretty brutal. Yep. Wow, that definite Clarion would have been insane here. Oh, I guess they would. I mean, they'd still get to keep Kithian. And this guy wouldn't die anyway, so maybe it actually wouldn't be that great. <laughs> they would actually only lose Dauntless Bodyguard. So, yeah, what are you going to do? One of my biggest problems I've seen so far is that, like, you have cards like this in your deck where you just can't actually cast them if you don't have fires. Yep, let's go to the next game. Deafening Clarion. Come on down. See, again, like, the detention spheres would have been great here against that Gideon. Or Kithian, whatever you want to call him. I think Tefri is a little bit slow here. That's the Price is Right theme song, in case you guys didn't know. <laughs> Apparently it was waiting for me. I could have sworn I hit the submit button, but here we are. I will keep this hand. Ah, keep that. It lets our Castle Vantress come into play untapped, which is nice. Uh, 
unfortunately, I think we just want to play Sacred Foundry into Steam Vents. I want to play Sacred Foundry here because we're not going to be uh, Castle of Antrusting anytime soon. So anytime in the late game, that's going to come into play untapped. But if we draw any land here uh, that comes into play untapped, it lets us play Teferi or Detention Sphere. So. Deafening Clarion gets rid of... God, the pressure from Multicolor is unreal. I kind of like just bouncing this clue. It's like nothing in our hand actually gets rid of this guy. I mean, we could block it with Fey of Wishes, I guess. Next time we can go Fires into Fey. And we can grab a Supreme Verdict. That's pretty good. Except we don't have Supreme Verdict in our sideboard anymore. One land, huh? Sure. Well, actually, Gideon's intervention against Soldier of the Pantheon seems pretty good. Let's try that. of Kieran, huh? Well, that's not great. Oh yeah, we're definitely keeping that. Gideon's Intervention, Cast of Fires. Name. Soldier of the Pantheon. Can't cast more than one non-creature spell per turn. Okay, well. There you go. I mean, we can just go to Tension Sphere on Silent, Deafening Silence, and then cast our second spell, which is pretty sweet. Sure, block. Aggressive. Uh, yeah, let's use that ability. Um, let's get a supreme verdict. How about another drawn and a supreme verdict? That seems good, right? Oh, Only in Dreams is definitely one of the top Weezer songs, for sure. For sure, my dude. Disenchant. Okie dokie. Wouldn't it be better to kill the Gideon's Intervention? I'm at 9, so I block here, I take 5. I don't know. <sighs> Teferi Time Raveler. Get to play Teferi, bounce the deafening silence. Yeah, it actually seems pretty good.
when you float in the air. Yikes. Parental damage is available to you and permanence you control. That's pretty sweet. So we can just go Nicol Bolas. Kill selfless spirit. They sack it in response. We have a blocker for three of an inspector and soldiers can't deal with Nicol Bolas. Okay. I'm a fan. Okay. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Can we just not draw double soldier of the Pantheon against me? That would be cool. Mardu Wool Reaper. Mm, bottom. I do not need a seventh land this early. Okay. Oh boy. Don't need an eighth land this early. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. All right. Well. Aggressive. Aggressive. Jesus crying out loud. One, two, three. This is ridiculous. Like, this deck is actually very, very good. I just, they're just trying to figure out if they can disenchant it before. Yep. Oh, they could not. It's two separate abilities. This was back in the day when it was two separate abilities. They disenchanted at the wrong time, my dude. Now you never get it back. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. Can we draw Supreme Verdict? Jesus. This is ridiculous. Hollow Fountain. Seems good. So we take one, two, three, four, five. None of these lands can ever be played. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was not the right land. <sighs> yep. It does, I guess it doesn't matter. Like, we can't play Hollow Fountain, Steam Vents, or Hollow Fountain because we just die. I don't understand. I don't understand what question mark KKKKK means. Alright, cool. I have no idea what even happened there. Oh, they chef it dunes. Sure, got it. What's our record here? Is it 1 2? KKKK is like lol 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 in Korean. Is it really? I actually don't know that. I'm trying to figure out like is Deafening Clarion actually better than a card like I don't know, Radiant Flames or something? Like, Radiant Flames hits all the pro creatures. I don't know if it's relevant. I have no idea. Double red always concerns me, though. I mean, it obviously, it doesn't look like an issue with this hand. Put you on the bottom. Radiant Flames doesn't deal damage if you cast it off fires. That is true. That is a true point. That is a valid thing to say, my dude. 
I'm just going to play these tap lands. Um, bottom that, dude. The Exile is great. I agree with you. It might be better. We're just trying to we're just trying to roll up into this supreme verdict. When you float in the air that wave has no way I will crush your pretty toenails into a thousand pieces only in dreams see what it means reach out our hands oh this is no this is no boy now hey my dude you tapped out all right that's cool if we clarion clarion might actually be better here because it kills this guy this guy which can kills this guy which then kills this guy uh, Deafening Clarion deals three damage to each creature. Womp womp. See, so, like, this is, if they have, like, a big-ass Diagraph Colossus, I'd rather keep Supreme Verdict in hand. Get the broom, it's a sweeper. That you float in the air. <laughs> Let's cast this creature and we'll search for something out of our little sideboard. What is this one Nezahal for? You can't search for it. Do I just want to deploy the Gatewatch for next turn? What are we taking? One, two, three, four. Four damage right now. Five, six, seven if they play a Death Baron. Yeah, all right. B -b -b bonfire. Now, if that was anger, they got no more bringbacks and no delve and no and Colossus is small. I agree with you. Oh, I you don't have to keep selling me, my dude. Only on streams, you'll see what it means. Reach out, Mike Bees. Hit no planeswalkers. Well, that was pretty sad. Boom, 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 boom. Good card, that Gatewatch. Jesus, crying out loud. I'm going to find zero Planeswalkers, if that's okay with you. Thank you very much. That guy's good. That guy's good. What's that five here? I don't want to, like... Oh, they're just going to be locked in. All right, well. Deploy the brick. Yeah, they did. we did. We did. We deployed the brick all right. Somebody touch my spaghetti! Just so you know. Just so we're clear about it. The spaghetti has been touched. I'm going to play this guy, Big Tarifi. And then I'm going to play this guy. Oh, buttery biscuits. What are we doing here? They're just going to scoop. We're not going to do anything fun. Create three one one white soldier creature tokens. <laughs> Create three one one white soldier creature tokens. <laughs> Let's cast this. Oh, we can't. Those are the two. <laughs> we did the thing and the stuff. Uh, let's crew you. 
No, let's just crew with creatures here. We got more than enough. Wait. I can tap as many as I want. One, two... I can tap four? Oh, that's crazy. I forgot how crewing works. I didn't know you could tap all of them. Because that doesn't really make a lot of sense, I'll be honest with you. I guess you can have like you can have like ten dudes in the ship, right? You can be like, hey, all these guys are going on a, a little adventure. Oh yeah, I'll untap two lands. So if I'm real close like this. I'm trying to figure out this lighting sitch. I think we're ahead. No, don't like that. Well, that's terrible. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Legendary, don't need a second copy. Legendary. I think we just want land here. At least the land gets us another land. So they're tapped out. We can alpha here. And then Supreme Verdict, but then this guy doesn't this guy doesn't get to crew. But we do get rid of all these guys, and we don't die to another Grey Merchant. I think it's got to be done. But when we wake, it's all been erased, and so it seems only in dreams. We played two, we played Drawn and Supreme, right? So. Fly me to the moon. Okay. Yeah, so like the thing is like Teferi tucks the card. Which is a lot stronger than just bouncing it. Also can Jace hit non non creatures? I'm pretty sure Jace just bounces creatures, whereas Teferi tucks any non-land permanent, which makes him significantly stronger. Okay, well. Alright, this is a lot of lands, man. Come on. I guess we're going to cast it with F -f -f Fires. Uh, screw Teferi. And attack for seven. 
then we can actually Fey of Wishes next turn, bounce it. And that should be the game, presumably. Oh, we actually didn't even, we didn't even activate Elspeth, that's pretty bad. Oops. My overconfidence is showing. Okay. I'm reluctant to board these in because I do want to be able to search for them. I think we're bringing in the Deafening Clarion. I will also give you the old GG's. Um, take out one time, Raveler. I mean, I'm going to keep it because of the verdict. <laughs> he says before it gets discarded. Oh, seems very good. Okay, well, bottom you. They're always like, hey, did you need a sixth land on turn two? I'm like, mm, I don't think I'm good. I appreciate it, though. Thanks for the offer. this guy get a load of this guy okay um yeah I'll just play heart you got heart kid I'll give you that what's that from you a name you name heart of caring It feels like it's from Indiana Jones, but I don't know. Anger would be worse here. That's correct. Oh, now anger would be fine. Now we're good. I will keep that on the top of my deck. It belongs in a museum. So do you. Okay, so we can play this. It will come and play untapped. And then we get to wipe Laborde. Frank Laborde. I do not think it's Million Dollar Baby. I want to look up. You got heart, kid. I'll give you that. I thought it was when the guy comes to his house. And he gets the... Like, I could be totally... It could be totally wrong. You got heart, kid. I'll give you that. I'm probably wrong. I'm probably totally wrong. You got heart, kid, but that belongs to me. It's when he goes to the... It's when he goes... Like, when Indiana Jones and his friend, like, they, they run... Or Indiana Jones runs back to his house, and he has the artifact. And, like, it's when he's... It's what they're doing, like, the, the, the kid flashback, right? And then they go, and he's like... he When he goes to get the artifact back, is that is that when it happens? Um. All right, so we can't cast this. Or this, rather. We can cast this. It doesn't really do anything. I think we're just going to deafen Clary on here, right? I believe the line is, you got a heart, kid. Kalima, Kalima. Not no more. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's definitely the line, for sure. That's completely the line. That doesn't do anything. 
We can cast this if we hit another land, which is kind of sweet. Jesus, double Muta Vault. Are we just going to lose to this? Every match we lose is because of fucking Muta Vaults, man. It's so frustrating. You got heart, kid, but that belongs to me. It belongs to Coronado. Coronado is dead, and so are all his grandchildren. This should be in a museum. So should you. I'm also going to blink this guy so that we can try to find that land. I'm going to bottom you. Fly me to the moon. Do, 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 do. Thank you. Thank you, Freedom Cobra. Thank you so much for the resub. Land one time. Oh, it's a freaking tapped land. Biscuits. So close, man. So close. Hot take. Last Crusade is the best of the Indiana Jones. I don't think that's a hot take. I think that's a pretty normal take. I think that's liter I think it's well known as one of the as as the best of the Indiana Jones movies. And I think Raiders is a close second. Yeah, I don't think anyone's like <gasps> How dare you? No, I think that's pretty standard, my dude. I think Temple is more of an interesting Indiana Jones movie. I think there's more cool, weird shit going on in it. But I think as far as quality Indiana Jones movies, I think it's definitely... I think... I think... <laughs> we named the dog Indiana. I love that dog. That's what he says. I guess we'll bottom this. We'll hope we don't die. We can activate Nicol Bolas twice. Jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's add a black and a blue. Doesn't matter, right? Black and red, sure. And I get to gain a life. Hooey. All right. So each one exiles two cards from their hand. I want to see what we hit first before we decide to start taking their cards. All right. That guy's not super exciting. Oh, shit. They're going to do a thing. Oh, don't be like your hero's downfall. Fudge! That's so frustrating. Wow, that's so frustrating. <sighs> Hence why they have not been attacking with that second Muta Vault, I suppose. I don't know why they didn't do that with, this, with the ability on the stack. Then they wouldn't have to lose their card. Huh. Now I feel like they're going to play this guy. Hmm. Jace? Well, shoot. Mm. 
Uh, I guess we're going to get rid of Needle here. I don't think we're attacking yet, though. I'd much rather block, especially when they have double Muta Vaults and they're at 16. Yeah, I think Temple of Doom appealed to me more when I was a child. Like, I was able to... Wa oh, fuck, shit, I crude. Um... I watched it and I was like, wow, this is super cool. Look, they're eating zombie, bur they're eating monkey brains. And this dude's, got, this dude's got his heart ripped out. Like, there's a bunch of weird, like, crazy, wacky, like, it was just a really weird movie, right? And, like, but the problem is, like, I don't think that, I don't think it holds, I don't know if it holds up. Oh, God. Jeez. Okay, I guess we're just going to pass. Block here, take 15, and then hope we don't die. I think we're dead here. Fly me to a spoon and a scoot do and a do-do-do. Muta Vault coming through. Yeah, I'm taking two. All right, that's nice. That's not as bad as I expected. Oh, boy. Okay, we're definitely playing this. We're going to go blue, blue. Oh, uh, we'll just have uh, blue. Okay. Gaining two here is nice. Also being able to look at friggin eight cards ten cards S this 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 beautiful boy look at look at some more can't play this though oh that's what we're that's what we're looking for here okay okay oko okay the problem is these muta vaults guys the problem is the muta vaults oko might actually just be better here Turns Dreadwander into a 3-3. Three, three. We can't cast Nickel Bolas. So we probably should have been more careful with the Inner Planner. But we can't actually make Triple Black right now anyway. There's no way to make Triple Black on the board, unfortunately. We can make 2 Black, but not 3 Black. So, I do like Oko plus 2. I just think that's pretty good. Uh, let's go blue green, and we gain two more life from this, which is not terrible. Oh, we actually get to activate this twice. That's pretty good. This guy being a 3-3 blocks everything they're going to do, which is pretty cool. How many cards are in the uh, the mystery pack packs? So they have one, two, three, four, five attackers. And we have two blockers and some food, which is not bad. Oh, you can draft it? That's interesting. It's just like a chaos draft, except instead of different packs, you get different cards in single packs. All right, we're going to crew you. And then we're going to go block Muta Vault. Block Muta Vault. Is this guy attacking? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're going to do that. And then we're going to actually gain 
three off this foodie boy. And hopefully not die. Four seems good here. <laughs> and that should be that should seal the deal my dudes uh, I'll draw a card oh we could also double food it here too oh dang it Oh man, I was having a good time. Having a good time. Do 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 all right. Good games were called. Okay, so on that note, um based on my Twitter poll that I did about the, the perfect length for videos. We're at about an hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes right now, so I'm going to stop it here. If you guys want to support the channel, a great way to do that is to head over to patreon.com slash franklapore, and you can donate as little as $1 or $2 a month. It's like nothing. It's basically nothing. 12 bucks a year gets you all the content. I mean, you're going to get it for free anyway, but wouldn't you like to support the channel as well? Go check that out. Slam those like and subscribe buttons as well. Leave a comment below. Those are the things you should do. Uh, I like this deck. I think it was good. I think the detention spheres are pretty necessary when there are artifacts and enchantments that you just absolutely have no way to deal with. I wish there were ways to cast these cards other than fires and interplanar beacon. Because you need three interplayer beacons to cast the Nicol Bolas. Because you're, otherwise you're not getting three black. You're just getting two. You know, I don't know. Like, Nicol Bolas is interesting because you have to have one Fires of Invention. So it's basically a two-card combo. Um, one Urborg would actually be pretty interesting. I don't think that's a terrible idea. Also, Mana Confluence. But again, like, if you're trying to add Mana Confluence just so you can cast Nicol Bolas... Especially in a deck that really wants to be defensive. I could see something like Wild Slash because you kind of want to be able to deal with like early creatures. And like, you're already probably taking a bunch. You have a lot of lands that come into play tapped. Six temples is a lot in addition to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, nine, nine shock lands. So what is that? Like that's 15 lands that could potentially come into play either tapped or dealing you damage. I think there's definitely some things about this deck I would change. Um, specifically, I would go into the mana base and, and try to add more uh, less painful lands. Some lands that come into play untapped. Um, but I would also find like ways to just cast these guys. I guess I guess Oko's fine because you have Interplanar Beacon and Fire. So you have eight cards that let you... Any one of these will let you cast an Oko. Um, I almost like Oko a lot. Oko's one of the few Planeswalkers that lets you plus two him. Which means with Nicol Bolas, you can go plus two, plus two. Put Nicol Bolas up to eight. And potentially just win on the next turn. God, Nicol Bolas is literally one of my favorite Planeswalkers, but, like, it's really hard to cast in this deck. What about Thran Temporal? I don't even know what that is. Oh, a Temporal Gateway. Put a Stork Proner card from your hand onto the battlefield. Let's just say it's kind of expensive. But, like, you can actually play it for free with Fires and then tap it. Huh. I wonder if that's any good. It does let you put all these Planeswalkers on the play. But I mean, like, you're... I don't know. It seems like it would be different. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't hate it. I don't know, though. But either way, these are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think about the deck in the comments below. Like, subscribe. Patreon.com slash Frank Laporte. Check out my articles on Cool Stuff, Inc. I had one go up yesterday. Uh, it's about Pioneer and the Bannings, which I'm... It's a format I'm enjoying. Slam those subscribe and follow buttons on Twitch. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. I'll see you later.